Hey, what's up? It's Justin from Mechanics, and I'm here with the team to share a workout with you today that's not only safe, but massively effective in building strength, increasing mobility, and just raising your overall energy levels. The best part about this workout, you can do it anywhere, even from home. Oh, and one more thing. If you have any questions during the workout, if you want to have uh, someone check on your form, if you have questions about modifications to make it a little more challenging or make some parts a little bit easier, if you just have questions about reaching your goals as quickly and efficiently and safely as possible, click the link below, reach out to us. We're more than happy to help and we're here to support you. All right, let's get to it. Okay guys, so we're going to start off the workout like we do with all our workouts with 2-3 to three minutes of blow flow and if you guys have like jump rope or a piece of a cardio equipment at home you can use that for 2-3 minutes or we can just cycle through this little sequence that I'm going to demonstrate right now. So first we're going to start with some jogging on the spot, so real li really light on our toes and we're just going to bounce side to side and then you can alternate through this. So we've got Bouncing side to side, then we we'll go foot kicks. Just bring the heels up towards the back of your foot. Then we'll go into high knees. And then we can cycle through our jumping jacks. And then take it back down again and cycle through that. So like 20 seconds on each one. And then just keep alternating for two to three minutes. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with some uh, mobility um, exercises just to get ready for our uh, strength work. So first one we're going to start off with is going to be overhead rotation. So if you have a pole handy, you can use a broomstick or um, anything else um, that uh, will work. You can just grab that and we'll do the same thing. So uh, overhead rotation, we're going to start off, we're going to try and hit up 15 repetitions. And so the further our hands are away, the less tension there's going to be throughout the stretch. So if you want, you can pull your hands in a bit closer, back up overhead, squeeze around. You can see the closer my hands get in, the more of a stretch I'll get. We're still going to try and keep everything in control tension. So bracing our abs, squeezing everything together, back around, and then reach up overhead, reach behind, trying to get through our full range of uh, movements. So we're going to try and do 15 overhead rotations or shoulder dislocates. And then we're going to move on to our figure eight stance. So we're going to try and go figure eights and we're going five each side on this one. So you can hinge through the butt on this. So hinge out. We're going to come down to the floor. We're going to get some rotation. We're going to exaggerate our side bend so we get a big stretch to our lats. And we're going to exaggerate the back bend. And then we're just going to try and string it all together flow through it. And it's going to be five in one direction, then I'll swap and go five into the opposite direction. And then after that one then we're going to go back into our Cuban rotations. So we're going to go through a few different variations. So we're going to start just Cuban rotations, we're going to do a Cuban press, and then we're just going to add from the press, we're going to add into a pull down. So each time we're going to add in a small bit more, so we're going to do five of each. So the first one I'm just going to start with the regular rotations, uh, elbows at uh, 90 degrees, shoulder blades pulled back, we're just going to rotate up overhead and then come forward as much as possible. Rotate up overhead, forward as possible. So it's going to be five of these, so that's three, four, and five. Then on the, on the fifth one, or the sixth one, should I say, we're going to add, so rotate, back, then we're going to add the press, big press up overhead, back down to 90 degrees, and then repeat until we hit five of these. So once you get five of these ones, then we're going to add the big press, so this will be my 11th one, we're going to pull back, shoulder blades back, and then we're going to add a big pull down, pulling down as far as possible, back to 90 degrees, down back around, big push through. So all the time, I'm squeezing this bar as much as I can, I'm bracing my abs as much as possible, and I'm trying to create 
as much control tension as possible as I go through all of this, okay? And then our next one then, we're just gonna do a couple of shoulder rotations to finish and that's gonna be everything. So I'm just gonna squeeze up overhead, rotate around, squeeze up overhead. And to start, we're gonna go protraction through the shoulder blade, up overhead, rotate, trying to keep the arm as tight as possible to the body without compensating. Again, control tension. Finish that off, and that's our mobility stuff done, and we're gonna go through two rounds of that, and then we get into our strength warm up. Okay, so let's get into our strength warm up. So before we get into our main strength phase, we're just gonna get our joints prepared for uh, the work we're gonna do in a few minutes. So we're gonna start off with some scapula pull. So we're working on the elevation and depression of our scapula, um, which is really important in our vertical pull stuff. So our, basically our pull-ups, our chin-ups, or anything like that. So first one we're gonna do is, if you can hang from a bar or rings or um, wherever you can hang or do your pull-ups from, that's where we're gonna start. So um, we're gonna jump up. We're gonna just dead hang to start. Um, when we dead hang, so we don't want to be in this uh, exaggerated lumbar position, we're going to pull into the hollow body and we're going to compress the abs through and then we're going to go from a dead hang and we're going to make it an active hang by pulling the shoulder blades down towards the floor. Relax back down. Pull down. Relax back down. And we're going, we're going to repeat this for 10 repetitions. Arms stay straight. And we're just trying to get as active as we can through there. Abs compressed in and try and make it as controlled and tensionized as possible. From there then, then we're gonna try and do a few skin the cats. So um, uh, this one, obviously we need a bar or rings again. Um, I'll do it on the bar, but if you have rings set up, uh, perfect. I actually really like the rings, it's a lot easier on grip, rotates around, can be a bit more friendly on your shoulders. But if you don't, let's just do the uh, skin the cat on the bar. So we're just gonna go for between like two and five repetitions on this. Focusing on the shoulder extension at the bottom. So when we get into the bottom part or the German hang, um, just spend a couple of seconds in there and really try and open up. Um, so a few variations as well. If you have the straight arm skin the cat where you can, uh, where you can straight arm pull and come into that, you can do that. If you don't, you can bend your arms. But then we're at the bottom in this German hang, working on our shoulder extension. We're gonna spend a couple of seconds, and then we're gonna pull back up, control down, hang, and then we'll repeat for two to five repetitions on your skin to cap. And then after that then, we're gonna do a couple of rows. So you can do ring rows. If you have a band, you can do like, you could set up a band on a door frame and you can literally just pull through your uh, your ring row your your banded rows through here pull the scapula back drive the elbow back abs stay tight we'll do like five each arm on your uh, banded rows if you have uh, some rings you can do your your rows on your rings just getting ready to go and then to finish then we'll just do a couple of pull-ups. So uh, we're trying to string everything together. So we're gonna take scapula pull, we're gonna drive our elbows um, back 45 degree angle at the, try, at the top. We're gonna try and get as high as possible. We're gonna try and stay in hollow body. So we're trying to stay, string everything together. So on the bar, bed hang, relax down, into the hollow body. Then we're gonna pull, elbows get driven back as far as possible, up over the bar. Back down and dead hang. And then relax and we'll probably do two sets of that and you'll be really warmed up and ready to go for our first strength set. Okay, so strength set number one is gonna be two exercises paired together. So we're gonna do a uh, vertical pull, so um, we're gonna mix the grips as we go through the sets, um, and then we're gonna do that with just some horizontal pulling, we're gonna use the rings, um, but on both of these, um, if you're thinking about it at home, 
if you have um, any sort of equipment that let, uh, allows you to row, if you set up a bar on chairs or whatever you can do for your rowing, it doesn't really matter, just as long as you're able to get something set up that will allow you to get some rows in. Um, the whole idea of this set is we're going to work on some volume and we're going to try and maintain the same amount of reps for the whole um, eight sets. So we're actually doing eight sets, two and a half minute rest and we're going to try and maintain the same amount of reps each set. So at the end we have a really high number and we're getting through some good volume on our vertical pulls. So for the first set, um, uh, you can do, we're going to do like supinated and pronated grip. So, um, for the first one, we can start off with our regular pull-ups, our pronated grip. So palms facing away, and we're going to try and get into hollow body again. So we're going to push through the abs. We're going to pull, drive the shoulders back at the top, or drive the elbows back, and then back down. Repeat, and then we're going to go straight into our rows. So um, on the rows, we're going to just try and do the same thing: pull the elbows back back down. So say I get like four reps on the pull, five on the on the rows, I'm gonna try and maintain the same amount of reps throughout the whole the whole eight sets. And then so we can really build on our volume. So the whole idea is not to gas, okay? So then um, I, um the second set around after my 2.5 minute rest I change the grip around. I go into the chin-up grip or the um, supinated grip, so my palms are facing facing my face as I pull up through. Um, if you're pretty advanced um, in, in your pull technique, you can add tempo. So if you're just barely getting the reps in, don't worry about tempo, just get the reps in. Um, but if you can, um, you can add in some tempo. We'll, we'll go for it. So I'm gonna start, this will be the start of my second set. I'm gonna change the grip around. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pause at the top for one, Two, back down, full dead high, pull again, one, two, back down again. And then I've changed the grip up on the rows as, again as well, so you can change the grip up. So you can go supinated grip on the rows. Then we rest again, and then that's gonna be our first strength set. Big volume, a load of reps in after we get through the full eight sets. So strength set number two, we're gonna just work some isometric strength. So we're just gonna pause at the contraction. So after we contract at that end range then, so um, say for example, I'm doing a pull up. When I pull up and drive my el elbows back behind me as far as possible, I'm gonna pause and try, we're gonna try and hold at the top position then. Uh, after we do that, then we're gonna do a core exercise. We're gonna do, um, we have options on both. So if you don't have the strength or the ability to get up and hold at the top of a pull-up position, you can grab the rings and do that. And I'll run through both, both options and both options for the, um, the leg raises as well. So the first one would be just your pull-up and isometric pause at the top. We're aiming for as close as you can get to 30 seconds. So you can do like 10 to 30 seconds. But when I'm up here, I'm not just holding and just trying to maintain them. I'm still, I'm driving my elbows back behind me at 45 degrees, squeezing my abs on, pulling the bar down, and then I'm coming back down. If you can't do the, um, the bar, we're gonna do the same thing on the rows. So you could come here, pull in, drive my elbows back. I'm squeezing, getting as active as possible. And if that's too easy, you can change the angle and walk until you're more horizontal. Um, oh, and the same time, 20 to 30 seconds. Once you get that in then, we're gonna do hanging knee or uh, leg raises. So, just gonna grab a bar or anything you can hang from. We're gonna go either into knee raises for 10 reps. And we're not just hanging passively, just all the way down, we're trying to draw the shoulder blades down towards our hips. So scapula pull down, and then we're going knee raises for 10, or if you want, you can go leg raises, or even try a couple of toes to bar, or you can mix it up with some knee raises, straight leg, back down, any variation of your knee or leg raises for 10 reps. We're going to try and do two or three sets, and then you can take two to three minutes rest in between that, and that's our last strength set. 
Okay, so to finish, we're just gonna keep it really simple with the core conditioning. And we're just gonna try and do stick with the isometric work we've been doing. And we're gonna do um, hanging knee raise, but this is all hold. So we're just gonna hang, pull our knees up, core compression, pull our knees into our chest. And we're just gonna aim as close to a minute as we can get. We're gonna try and rest for a minute to 90 seconds and repeat again. We're gonna try and get as active as possible. If you can't do that or you have nothing to hang from at home, you can go into uh, just a plank or, um, uh, or hollow body. You can change it up yourself just to finish with the core condition. But since we're doing pull stuff here and hopefully anyone that has been doing pull has found some way of doing some pull stuff, um, we will just practice that. So same again, we're just gonna hang from a bar and it's super uh, easy in terms of like not a lot of different variations but simple is best sometimes so pulling the shoulder blades down knees pull up to the chest and we're just gonna try and pull compress breathe into the abs and as close to one minute as we can get i'm gonna jump down i'm gonna take my 90 second rest and i'm gonna repeat um, so, not uh, less moving, a lot le easier on the joints, no pushing, pulling, anything like that. Just always the metric calls to finish. And that's our core condition, the end of the workout. Okay, so just to finish, guys, we're just gonna cool down. We're gonna do some uh, static stretching, and we're gonna try and uh, elongate the stretches now. We're really gonna focus on our breathing, get the heart rate back down, and we're gonna try and return our central nervous system back into recovery mode so take it out of that uh, fight and getting ready to relax and recover mode okay so um, first we're going to start off in on the floor we're going to bring our foot to our heels we're just going to relax down try and get nice and long we're going to chill here for like 20 to 30 seconds then i'm going to walk my hands out to one side i'm going to try and stretch through my lats so you get a big stretch through here. As I walk around, I feel the stretch through this side of my lats. I'm gonna hold for 20 to 30 seconds on this side. I can walk across onto the other side and repeat again. I'm just trying to hold that stretch. And then I'm just gonna ease out of this, come to the floor. I'm gonna bring my hands under my chest. I'm gonna lift my legs off the floor. And I'm just going to try and get a back bend. So I'm going to push up, get a nice back bend. Big deep breaths. And focus on that back bend. Um, and then our last stretch then, we're going to spend like 30 seconds to one minute again. Try and relax. Big deep breaths. Get everything um, relaxed again. We're going to hold the rack. I'm going to do a rack lat stretch. So. Um, I'm just going to pull, so say whatever hand you use to hold the rack, the same leg is going to be back behind. So I'm holding with my right hand, my right foot is going to be behind. I'm going to hinge my hips out, so I'm going I'm to push my butt away. I'm pulling the rack in towards my body, so I'm pulling in. As you can see, when I pull, my lats switch on here, so I'm going to get that stretch through my lats right there. Then I'm going to turn my chest underneath. So we can get a big stretch across this sling of lat muscle that goes all the way across my back. I'm gonna hold that for 30 seconds to a minute. Relax out of that, and then we'll do the exact same thing on the opposite arm. And then we are finished, cool down, and your workout is complete. If you like this video, hit the like button below. Be sure to share it with your friends or anyone else who might enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel now and follow us on Instagram or Facebook. I'll see you in the next video.